In this video, I'll show how I drill and hollow using a spindle gouge. The spindle gouge cuts all begin using the ABCs, anchor bevel cut. In the anchor, the tools placed on the tool rest doesn't touch the wood. Bevel, the bevels on the wood not cutting. Cut, the handle is raised, the tool is rolled, and the cut begins. In this case, the cut's going to go down the shoulder and then across the face of the spindle to make a smooth surface on the um, end of the spindle, the part that we're going to hollow. If I just stick the tool into the tool into the wood, it's going to skate and make a, a catch. So you can't touch the cutting edge first. It's always got to be on the, the bevel and then rolled into the cut. Here I'm going to cut off this little nub and we'll just use the heel of the bevel as support on the face and you can see it making a little mark outside where we're cutting, but it won't matter because we're going to hollow that out. The next thing I want to do to prepare to drill, when I drill I want the spindle gouge to not touch the tool rest. So we have to have the tool rest just low enough so that we can put the cutting edge on center and then when we raise the tool parallel to the lathe, the bore width, it won't touch the tool rest. Now we need a space to ride the bevel and to do that we'll cut a little notch or a little V into the center. And here's this V being cut. And then we just roll, turn the tool and push it right into the bottom of the V and that begins the boring. <coughs> and a, the drilling process I use is to push in at about a half inch, twisting the tool and pulling it out to clear the shavings. If we don't clear the shavings, they'll bind up and and the tool just spin, measuring for depth. And then we just keep pushing in until we reach the depth we want. Now to hollow, the easiest hollowing is just to cut with the tip from the center to the outside. Just moving the tip across. It's a slow, steady way to cut. You're just making little sawdust because you're cutting off the ends of the grain. Now, Richard Raffin saw a demo of his. He did this cool back hollowing stuff. And here you just turn the gouge to the flute to the right, push down on the handle, and that engages the cutting edge in sort of a peeling and pulling it out it's just a fun little cut and it removes the wood inside the cup of a goblet or a vase very rapidly. Normally I would use a half inch gouge, but as you see, I'm using a three H spindle gouge. I tend to use the tool that's in my hand rather than the tool that uh, I might get a little bit better performance with. Um, the main thing the half inch gouge is going to do is give you a, a bigger shaving. We're getting enough wood out of here right now as, with this little tool. Richard Raffin is the master of this cut. He has a couple of videos out that you can look at. So try it. You'll like it. 